Hey, what's up? My name is Kim and I'm with the Shared Spaces team. In this video, I will be going over how to scan a 3D object in the Luma AI app. We will move through all of the steps from downloading the app, navigating the app layout, scanning an object, and exporting your file. You can skip to relevant sections by clicking on the chapters in the description or scrubbing to the markers in the timeline. So here, if you just open up the App Store and search for Luma, L-U-M-A space A-I, and then it should be near the top of the results. Here you can see I have a cloud with an arrow, just showing that I've downloaded the app previously. In the app privacy at the bottom, you just might want to pay attention to the kinds of data that are being tracked and consider what you're comfortable with. And now the Luma AI icon is on my home screen. So when you open it, it first looks like this. The app is free, but you do need to make an account. So you can sign in with either Google, like I'm doing here, or you can use your Apple ID. It's not visible, but next I'm signing in with my password. When you open the Luma app, you'll first see this screen that shows scans that other people have done and uploaded. You'll have the ability to upload scans publicly, and I'm going to talk about that in a bit. Now I'm going to click on the profile button, which is at the bottom right of the screen. Here we have the page for your account showing your scans. If you want to look at your account information, you can do this by selecting the gear icon in the top left and do things like change your username or delete your account. To begin scanning an object, you'll want to press the plus symbol in the bottom center. For my object, I'm scanning this cute fuzzy plush cat toy. I've placed it on top of a narrow box on top of a stool so that I can easily walk around it as I scan. You will want to make sure that you can easily walk around your object as you scan it, which can sometimes be tricky if you don't have a lot of space. When scanning with Luma, you'll want to start by pointing the crosshair, the little plus symbol in the middle of the screen. You'll want to point it at one side of the center of your object, then walking around it to the other side, keeping the crosshair pointed on your object. You will tap the screen, then you'll be prompted with this cube that you can resize around the object you'll be scanning. So it takes a little bit of tinkering. You have these different arrows pointed around the box. So you kind of just want to adjust them by tapping and dragging with your finger up and down, left and right, to make the box fit the object as closely as possible for your scan. Don't worry if this step takes a while. Um, you can see here that it's taking me a while trying to get things as perfect as I can. Once you're happy with the placement of the box, you can press the confirm button. Now you'll begin scanning. You can see there are these horizontal lines encasing the object, which show the region you'll need to move around. There are these blue rectangles that represent the angle you should try to hold your phone as you scan each line. And you just walk around and you kind of get some haptic feedback. So your phone will be almost kind of vibrating a little bit as you point the crosshair and successfully intersect it with the boundary lines. So I'm just going around kind of slowly here, trying to get all the areas. And once you've scanned each of the three bounding lines, then they'll disappear. Sometimes if you go too quickly, there's a message that will appear near the bottom and it says to go a bit more slowly. Take as much time as you need.
Now the scan is complete and all three boundary lines have disappeared. There are some settings that you can change by dragging this part of the screen upward. One thing I really want to point out is the privacy section. It doesn't default to sharing publicly, which is great. Um, make sure you're comfortable with whichever settings you check here because it can include your personal space where you do the scanning. So maybe you don't necessarily want to share your living room with the world or maybe personal photos or that sort of thing that might be in the background. Here I'm just giving a basic title to my scan. It takes a little bit to upload, maybe two to three minutes, and you'll want to keep the app open for this to finish. Once this is done, the model will take some time to process, and this process can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. The Shared Spaces team and I have all tried scanning different objects, and for us, 20 to 30 minutes seems to be the average, but this might be different for you. Here, we have finished the model of the scanned object. So you can see the room clearly in the background, which you may or may not want. Um, from the kind of bottom view where the camera didn't get pointed directly, you can see it's sort of blurry, but that's not really an issue for the scan that I want. Now I'm going to drag up the bottom screen, and here I'm going to export my model. Here you will press on the word Assets, and it will expand to show you a variety of file types that you can export your model as. I'm going to export it as an OBJ, which is a very common file type, especially if you'll be bringing the model into a 3D editing software like Blender. I'll just select the low poly option here for now. And here you can just click Proceed. Next, it's going to prompt you for where you want to save or send the exported OBJ file. So you could message it to yourself, email it to yourself, um, airdrop it if you have another Apple device. Here I'm just going to save it to my files. You can see that it's named already and put into a zip file. Once you're ready, you can press the save button at the top right. You're now finished scanning your object, and you can head into the editing process, which we will have in another video. Scanning 3D objects is just one of the steps that we cover in our AR Production Pathways learning materials. Please visit our Shared Spaces website or YouTube channel to find other videos for your augmented reality workflow. Bye!